Welcome to GED Math and Dirt News. In these tutorials, I will show you how to solve many of the GED math problems using the TI-30XS scientific calculator. Welcome to GED Math 30 Days. I'll be your host, Jeremy Tinsley. I'm an adult educator. I've been doing it for over 20 years and my pass rate is incredible. I'm over 98%. Um, actually, I'm almost close to 99%. I do have upcoming students that, um, that will be taking the exam soon. If both of them pass, I'll be back at 100% pass rate for GED Math in the last five years. I'm glad you joined me, and today we'll be going over probability, okay? So to today, probability simply is the chance of something happening, okay? It's very easy, and, and probability can be displayed as a fraction. So we want to do computations. It can be thought of as a fraction, okay? So I'm going to go over simple probability, and I'm going to go over compound probability. So we're looking at the question now. It says, in the shipment of toys from, oh, and this, this example I'm using it uh, comes from GED. It's the GED study guide for mathematics. It's a very good guide. Has over 40 practice problems. Very good. Um, so I'm doing one of those examples. It says, in the shipment of toys from a manufacturer, a probability that a toy is defective is 1 over 50. That means one toy will be defective out of a total of 50. So again, it's like a fraction, okay? What? Uh, what part over whole, basically part over whole, what part is defective? One, what's the whole? 50, okay? If Mary selects two toys from a shipment, what is the probability? So for example, um, first of all, let's go over simple probability. So they always they already gave us a uh, simple probability in this problem. So, this, um, and what that means is, again, how many, the chance of something happening or happening to occur over the whole, so for example, um, if I had a 52 uh, a deck of cards, 52 cards in a deck of cards, and I wanted to know how many kings are in that deck of cards. There's four kings, just four. The total number of cards is 52. So that fraction will be four over 52. Reduce that to lowest terms, and your probability will be one over 13. So for example, let me give you an example. Let's do it on the calculator like I like to. So for example, four. we want to know the probability of selecting a king out of a deck of cards. So we go to our ND, there are four kings in a deck, king of hearts, king of diamonds, king of spades, king of clubs. There are 52 total cards. That's simple probability, that easy, it's simple, okay? So the simple probability is the chance of one thing happening. So the chance of me picking a, a, a king out of a deck of cards is four out of 52. When I hit enter, it gives you my fraction. So I have a one in 13 chance of, of, of selecting a king out of a deck of cards. If I wanted to know the decimal, I have a 0 0.077 uh, uh, chance of selecting a king out of a deck of cards. Or if you want to round it to the nearest hundred, it would be 0 0.08. Well, I have an 8% chance. If I wanted to know the percentage, I can convert that to a percentage. And I have a 7.69% chance of selecting a king from a deck of cards. If we round that to the high, uh, uh, the, the nearest uh, whole percent, then it would be 8%. So that's how easy, simple probability is, okay? Let me clear, let me move this out the way. So you can see all the uh, key presses that I pressed. Let me clear it. And now we're gonna do that problem uh, that you've seen previously. So I'm gonna minimize this. We're gonna go back to the problem. In the shipment of toys from a manufacturer, that a toy is defective is one over, uh, one over 50. If Mary select two toys from a shipment, was the probability that both toys are defective. So in this case, we actually have to use what's called compound probability. And that's the probability of more than one event happening. Very simple. All you have to do is, depending upon the number of events, you just multiply. You find a simple probability of each event, and then you multiply them together. So in this example, um, let me move this up a little bit. So in this example, let me get my pen. The chance of selecting the first toy that was defective is one out of 50. Okay. So the probability of a defective toy, I'm gonna put this DEF for defective, is one out of 50. Okay, well, what's the probability of picking the second toy? Well, that's the same thing. So 
the probability that the second toy is defective is also one out of 50. So remember, I said compound probability is just multiplying the probability of each event. So all we want to do is do 150 times 1 over 50. Very easy. We're going to go to our calculator. That's how easy probability is. So we're going to hit ND, 1 over 50, hit our right arrow. Uh, now we're going to close another 1 over 50 in parentheses because we want to multiply. You could have used the multiplication symbol. Um, I do not, I rarely use the multiplication symbol. Okay, let me move this down so we can see um, our probability. So let me move this down. Okay, there we go. One over 50, we hit enter. So hold on, so that's the fraction. I mean, that's the decimal, okay? So that's 0.004 if we want to find a percent. Convert it to a percent, which will be 0.04%. Now, if we notice in there, it has, it has a fraction though. Okay, so let's change it to a fraction. So we're going to hit second. We're going to hit, hit F to D and change it to a decimal. We're going to change it to a fraction. If you notice, this is very important that you understand. Okay, when you go out to the 10,000th place, it will not change it into a fraction for you. It only change up to the thousands place. So let me make sure we know how to um, I'll do this by hand. So let me clear my screen. And we have 1 over 50 times 1 over 50. Of course, we multiply across. 1 times 1 is 1. 5 times 5 is 25. And we have 1, 2 zeros. That's simple. Okay? So if Mary selects two toys from a sh shipment, was the probability that both toys are defective? It would be one over one out of 2,500 or one out of 2,500 if you want to say as a fraction or ratio and a percentage is 0.04%. Okay, so that's just, that's a simple, fast lesson on probability. You can expect one to two questions at most two. Usually it's only one question on probability. So um, I'm gonna keep this video short. Simple probability, um, so uh, the, the expected outcome over total outcomes. Uh, compound probability is the chance of more than one event happening. So you find the simple probability of each event and then you multiply, that's simple. Check out my website, GD Math in 30 Days is the book. My website is passgdmath.com. Again, visit my website, passgedmath.com. Check out my YouTube channel, for other videos, and I hope this helped. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and make sure you comment. I do this not for the money. I do this to help people obtain a diploma so they can improve their life, so they can go to additional training, go to college, um, and go and, and, and advance their life and advance their family's life. So if you need any assistance, drop me a line. Oh, and also check out my uh, Math Mondays. Uh, go to my website, sign up, and every Monday I will be doing uh, how to the most commonly missed GD questions. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time.